Hi friends! Today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of May. If you are new here, the TBR takedown is a game that I'm playing trying to get my physical unread TBR bookshelves down from whatever ridiculous number they were on down to about 50 or so. At the beginning of May I had a total of 185 books on my TBR shelf so let's get into my purchases for the month and we'll go from there. In May I purchased eight new books plus received a copy of a book as a gift which makes nine but only five of those will count towards my TBR because some of them I have already read. Starting with the books that I've already read, the first is Wake by Amanda Hawking. This series follows Gemma who is a girl who loves swimming in the ocean and lives with her sister Harper and her father and follows her learning about some really creepy girls in town who may or may not be evil and it is a siren story and Gemma gets pulled into their world and it's a whole thing from there as I always say. And the other three books that I bought that I have already read are the Truth Witch series by Susan Dennard. These are the UK paperback editions. So Truth Witch, Wind Witch, and Blood Witch which is the newest release that just came out about two weeks ago. So I now have the UK paperback editions as well as the UK hardcover and the US. I, I, I think this is my fourth full set. I think my fourth full set. If you have made it to my channel and have somehow never heard of me speak of the Witchland series by Susan Dennard, the first book, Truth Witch, follows Sophie, who is a truth witch, and her power is something that has not really been seen in a long time and can either be used against others or for others so she has a large group of people that are all either trying to kidnap her and use her powers for their good or kill her so that other people can't use her powers against them and she goes on the run with her best friend Azult and it is a story of adventure and friendship and it is an amazing story that I absolutely love and I highly recommend and if you haven't read it yet then you should read it very soon because Kate Cavanaugh and I will be doing the AuthorTube chat book club this month on the 22nd at 6 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel and we will be talking about this book and probably other things as well but it will be our book chat for this book so read it come chat with Kate and I about it and Yes. And then we will get into the five books that do count, the first of which was The Gift. It is The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. This is a gift from Brianna at Rainy Days and Stormy Nights. This book follows Nina who is an introvert and kind of has always been on her own. It was just her and her mom and as an adult she discovers upon the passing of her father that she had never met that she also has brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, aunts, uncles, cousins, all these people in her life that live very close to her that she didn't actually know were part of her family and they all kind of want to meet her and spend time with her and she kind of has to figure out how to navigate that world because she is an introvert and doesn't really like to talk to strangers and I relate. Next is Tidal by Amanda Hawking. It's a teeny tiny baby book because I wasn't paying attention when I ordered it online and I got the mass market paperback edition or the pocketbook edition. I'm not really sure which. Either way, it's teeny tiny. Uh, this is the third book in the Water Song series, which Wake is the first book of. So I already had book two and four. I needed one and three so I could read them. I have started reading this one but I haven't finished it yet. And then we have Aurora Burning by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is the second book in the Aurora cycle. This series follows Aurora as she is a girl out of time. She was on a spaceship trying to travel to another planet and it was supposed to be a trip that lasted for two weeks and instead she is woken by a cadet at a I believe it's like a police academy for space people and it's been 
200 years since she actually went onto the ship and she's the only survivor on the ship everyone else has died so everyone she's ever known is dead everything she's ever known is gone and she gets taken in by this squad and they there's a big bad that they have to run from it's really a very adventure heavy story and if you are new here I like adventure so book two. Next is The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. Alicia was one of the panelists during the Social Distance Book Fest and I absolutely fell in love with her. She is like the sweetest person on the planet so naturally I had to purchase her book and when I actually read The Flap because I didn't learn what it was about I just like bought it and then when I got it I was like wow that's amazing. So this book follows a young girl who lives in kind of a post alien invasion world. When the aliens invaded they made it so that humans were not allowed to really be emotional and so music and books and art were all outlawed and anyone who was caught harboring any of those things will be executed. And the story follows 17 year old Ellie and she is a lover of books and she has this little baby library that is hidden and one of her books goes missing and she is afraid that the book will be traced back to her and she will be killed and it turns out that the book was actually taken by one of the aliens and instead of turning her in for execution he starts to feel emotional over something that he should not emote about because he should not have emotions and it follows the two of them kind of on a road trip to save the human race which sounds amazing uh, again I love adventure stories and I love things about music and art and books so this is going to be like the perfect book for me I'm sure another purchase from the social distance book fest was the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires by Grady Hendrix I know that this book follows a southern book club who invite a neighbor to kind of join the club and they start to think that maybe he's a vampire. That's pretty much all I know. I have previously read Grady's My Best Friend's Exorcism which I enjoyed and I like that he kind of meshes together horror and humor so I definitely wanted to get this as well. So these are my purchases let's get to the red books. I read seven books this month, only six of those count. Let's go through them. Lullaby by Amanda Hawking. This is book two of the Water Song series. If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This Coven Won't Break by Isabel Sterling, which is the follow-up to These Witches Don't Burn. The Summer series by Jenny Han. So the summer I turn pretty. It's not summer without you and we'll always have summer. And Force of Nature by Jane Harper. This is the second book in the Aaron Falk series. The math this month is pretty easy y'all. I started with 185, I hauled 5 which was 190, I read 6 which makes it 184 which means we went down one book again same as last month. Guys I'm not doing great. <laughs> oh, oh well it's fine. It's totally fine. I say this every month. It's fine. 184 is great. It's less than it was last month and and we're just gonna keep on trucking through. If you've read any of these books let me know in the comments below if you liked them, if you didn't like them, how you felt about them because I want to know which one of these books should I prioritize. I've been trying to prioritize my 2020 books anyway but you know it, it's fine. It's, it's fine. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. And if you didn't already know I have started a planner channel separately and it is always going to be linked in the description box down below as well. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future on both channels make sure you subscribe to both and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!